what are you doing now? Because, I mean, we know you're on the radio. You had a great basketball career. You're busy still. You do a lot of stuff now, don't you? Yeah, well, to, with the blessings of, uh, you know, Darren Gross and Alma Godinez and all those guys, I came in, did a camp, and they kind of interviewed me, didn't even know I was interviewing, and they offered me the radio job. So I started doing uh, some of the games, and I they, they set a uh, – uh, a place up in my house so I could call the games from home and that worked out fantastic and they liked it and then I started doing a little television now I'm doing all the TV games and uh, I also do every day with Grant Napier on the Grant Napier show which is you know Grant was he's been around us so oh yeah, yeah. I, I know Grant the way that other people don't know Grant but now everyone's getting to know him that way and now when I walk around I don't know if more people know me for the Grant Napier show <laughs> or that I used to be a king it's, uh, yeah, I am definitely staying busy. Yeah, well, there's a younger, younger crowd, but I mean, you know, they, they know. Those, those teams are never going to be forgotten. How, how was the transition? I mean, you made the transition. I mean, I listen. I think you're great at what you do. You're on Comcast, like you said. You fit right in. You yeah. Know? You like it? I love it, actually. Yeah. It's uh, it's different. You know, when I first initially went to Pepperdine, I went for communications, but I, I didn't really like it, so then I went to sociology. But coming back and learning from a guy like Grant and Jerry and just hearing, you know, they're an Emmy Award winning. and. Yeah. And just you have to say congratulations to them because they just won another one. But uh, just all of that information, getting it to you, and then the ability to try to go on the fly and try to figure it out. So many great producers and people around that have helped me out. And I always, people say, how do you do it? Uh, I mean, how are you doing? Do you like it? And I always say, you know, it's not what I like. It's whether the people like it. And most of the time, people are giving me good feedback. And I try to take it all in and study and just get better and better. But I'm having a blast. Playing hard, the byproduct of that is going to be winning. What do, what do you what do you do when you're not working? You know, you mentioned you got your 16 year old son. Yeah. But what do, you, what do you do when you're not working? You know, when I'm not working, I'm training him. Uh, you know, I, I love basketball, so I kept on training and uh, I teach uh, teach athletes, and that is probably one of my biggest passions. We know Grant is a New York freak, uh, unfortunately. And, and unfortunately, yeah. And uh, I'm from Chicago, so I'm you know a Cubs guy, so I finally okay. had my ear. What the, what like who's your favorite baseball team? Or, or, uh, I'm you know. a Mariners guy. I'm okay. a Seahawks guy. What is your favorite uh, TV show? Uh, or any stuff you like to watch on TV? Is that your favorite? You know, one of, one of the any shows, series you're into? I, I, I like American Pickers. I like Empire is one of my favorite shows. Old school. I like Matlock. You know, I'm, oh, when I go old school, I like that type oh, of stuff. Matlock. Detective stuff. You just pulled I, out Matlock. That's, that's fantastic. Right. Yeah, people <laughs> dig that one. Uh, Andy Griffith Cannon. in the house, man. Cannon. Remember Cannon? <laughs> yes. You know, uh, Beretta? <laughs> yes. No <laughs> doubt. With the, uh, what do you have, the parakeet Yeah, the par like yeah Fred. Fred the parakeet, right? Look at you knowing the name of the par I, That is see, that, awesome. Yeah, yeah, I got some issues now with that stuff. Oh, yeah, totally. Um, any of these reality shows like um, Dancing with the Stars and stuff like that, if any one of those came calling, you know, uh, would you I got my boogie, I got my boogie shoes. I'd, I'd, give, I'd think about it, no doubt. Dancing with the Stars? I think you'd be pretty I good got, at that. I got some hot moves. I yeah. Might, I might give it a shot. We got to see if we can make that happen. Yeah. We'll get you out there dancing. Uh, I, might, I might win. Rep, rep it for sack, baby. You heard that right there. Doug Christie could be on Dance with the Stars, and he could not only be on, he could win. No doubt about it. I love it. Doug, thanks, man. Appreciate you, bro. There you go. Awesome. You Doug Christie.